Well, I guess we'll give this a go again. The thrift store, Whitehall, let's see how it goes. Kind of crazy to get here, and there's not one person here looking at the racks. But I don't see anything, even on these racks. What is this? Unity. I wonder if tie dyes come back in style. A Lacoste polo. Essex crossing. It's a very nice fabric. What? Nope, nothing on the racks for me. It's the first time I came here where they put out racks. The last time I was here, well, I should say the last time, and the, the last three times I've been here over the course of the last three months, they have not put out one rack. So it's good to see that. Let's see if there's any quilts hanging up. Not seeing any. Some sort of local place. No, no quotes. That's nice fabric. You can literally find it all at the thrift store. Eight dollars. If you need a headlight, you can find it here. I don't, don't know why somebody would ever donate this or why they would put it out, but. Teach their own. seen any Pyrex or anything. These candlesticks have been here for a very long time. Are these Corningware? They are. It's amazing how many patterns there are for Corningware. A lot of people just see that blue and white one. Open Christmas Eve. That was a while back. Seen a whole lot of this thrift. Might well, wait for one more racket close. These are nice. Definitely new. Yeah. Whoever made that pattern. Very nice looking. Reminds me of like French. Or maybe eh, more French than Italian. Alright, fresh off the rack. I got one thing. It's a older University of Pittsburgh jersey football kind of cool it's three dollars then we'll have to snag it snag it i feel like a real thrifter right now when we snag it i think it's football i don't think it's lacrosse it kind of looks different almost like it's not football i don't think it's lacrosse what's cool it's pittsburgh uh, panthers probably mid-2000s i would say kind of cool yourself a sports jersey this is all the putbacks also you notice by the tags the tag they put out this week is blue but everything that gets put back or pulled because it's missing a tag they bring it back oh look at that golden retriever but they have a lot of racks out today this is the first time i've ever been here where they had probably more than two racks out they have five going at once that's insane for me Okay, so made into Goodwill. I believe this is also Corningware. It's a different pattern. It is Corningware. 
just labeled on the side. But just some these, right, this I haven't seen either. There's a couple I have seen. Obviously, like I said, the blue and the white is usually the most popular. Um, but then there's other ones that kind of, like, I see them every now and then. This is one I haven't seen yet. I don't think it's worth a whole lot. In fact, sometimes these things are worth a ton of money on eBay, but they never sell. So they're listed for a lot, but they never sell. All right, so check out what I found here. This is actually $25. You got a couple here for $29. This is sold. $45 for the pair. I don't see the other one. Um, $75 if you have all three. I don't think I'm going to find all three, but we have a Tails figure here from the year 2000 from Sonic Hedgehogs. I am going to grab this. It's at Goodwill. So it's only $3, but it's on sale this week. So it's $1.50. I think it's a good deal. If anything, I'll sell it for like five or ten dollars. Like I said, most likely at Columbus, but as long as he's not broken, I might grab him. I think he's a good find here in the toy section. We have some lightsabers. Man, I used to play with these things when I was a kid. In fact, my brother and I, however this worked, they should. Oh, jeez. Wow. Oh, we had the Darth Maul one too that had the double side. That is bringing me back. Is there a year on this? There might be. It is not there. Not there. I don't see it. Uh, no, there it is. 2006. Wow. I should send a photo of my brother of that. But yeah, we had a Darth Maul one. That thing was vicious. Cool vintage toys here at Goodwill. Got myself tails. All right, at the last thrift store today. Would you look at that? Wildwood, New Jersey. That stain, not uh, shadows. There's a little stain on there. Wildwood, New Jersey. I'm putting that back. I don't want that. Uh, but at the last thrift store, we'll see if find anything here. We got a toy. We got a jersey. Let's see if find any other treasures that can pop up. I know this week was tough because a lot of these thrift stores did uh, sales this uh, past weekend. That was really scratchy. University of Wisconsin at Milwaukee. It's a little exact to be here in Allentown, Pennsylvania. All right, so I got one article of clothing so far. Probably, yeah, maybe we'll find something else. Muhlenberg College. Got to be an old sweatshirt if it ever says "Made in USA." That's how we got to the point of society that we are today. But it's only two dollars. Yeah, it's definitely old. It just has an older tag on. Also, aside from the name of the. The name of the manufacturer. That's an old uh, Muhlenberg. I had a lot of friends from my high school who actually went to Muhlenberg. It's kind of like if you went to a private school, or if you went to a private college, I should say, after high school, majority of people went here, which is very interesting, but it was just the place people went. I think it was because it was pretty close to where I grew up, but it was also not like down the road. It was in the same state. So a lot of people can go on tours to this college and it wouldn't be like you're investing $500 or $600 in airfare just to tour it. So a bunch of people got in the car, they went there, and then just like another place you can tour, it's close by. It just seemed to work for a lot of people. But pretty cool, vintage, probably in the 90s, I would guess. All right, so I made it back. I had a lot of people uh, leave suggestions on this frozen ice pad to throw down still pretty slippery right now it's slippery because it's warm out uh, it's 40 degrees so it's starting to melt but a lot of people said throw down cat litter a very long time ago i bought a storage unit that had like four or five big bins of cat litter and ended up keeping all of it um i know some people were like well you can just dump it out in your yard but i ended up keeping it for the last two or three years and uh comes in handy from time to time i'm going to put this now away because i guess the holiday season's over kind of depressed about it kind of sad i know i could probably keep it till new year's if i really want to i keep up all year round but i think all the holidays are over not that culturally inclined but i know hanukkah and christmas have passed so i'll put this away I actually have these guys these were the only two large blow molds that i have left uh this one's all busted up i end up selling off my larger blow molds this year uh, at lammerville i think this is a newer one this is a small one, as you can see. It's tiny compared to that. It's good for indoors. 
And I also had these guys right here, but I never displayed them for whatever reason. And then also the lamp, or the light, I should say. All right, and uh, that's going to probably wrap it up here for a thrift store day. I stopped off at the warehouse to see how things were going, make sure there's nothing gone or awry. I did notice also in this corner, this window up here. Well, you can't really see it, but you can't see it at all. In the bottom corner, it's actually a huge hole in it. Maybe, maybe the light shows up correctly there. There's a huge hole in the bottom right side of that window. So that is awesome. I don't know how I'd fix that. That looks like a single pane window. Just another project to add to the list. I was going to do some work up here because it's warm. However, I, uh, I noticed that it's going to be even warmer here in like two or three days. This stuff, solid as a rock. It's going to get warm here in the next two to three days, probably for the next five days. So I'll save my time to work in this cold building uh, on a day where it's a little bit warmer. It is warmed, warmed up where it's at least manageable to be outside for an hour or so. Uh, but that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for coming along. I don't know how many more. Uh, well, I guess I'll probably aim for doing more thrifting videos here in the winter. It's very difficult. I've said it a million times uh, about doing things here in the winter. But uh, we'll, we'll find things to do. I know right now I'm really caught up in my videos. This video is getting posted literally the day after I'm recording it. And I have no videos planned uh, for the rest of the year, like I've always said. So we'll find something to do. Maybe we'll do some treasure hunting in the woods if this ever thaws out. We'll find something, right? We're going to round out this year strong. Thank you for another awesome year. Uh, and yeah. 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 All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. Stay tuned for many adventures in the future. And of course, till next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.